Hi there. This is Diecast Channel, and in this video, I'm going to show you this 967 Buick GS400 made by ERTL American Muscle in a 1 to 18 scale. So let's take a better look at it. But before we do so, please don't forget to give me your like, to subscribe my channel, and to click the bell for news. So let's go on. Well, this car is really one of my favorite General Motors muscle cars of all time. This one is a GS which started in 1965 as an option, a sport option for those cars but then became a new segment of American muscle cars. This Buick was a little different. It's blacked out grill, this uh, red stripe right here, some badges and stickers that were different and then fake air intakes in the hood. As we can see this engine this 400 cubic inch engine it's really awesome it's all painted red with the right color the correct color we can see all reservoirs and all, all components that are supposed to be in the engine bay as well as the engine bay itself which is very well made no details which are very rich in here uh, even though this is a, is a simpler ERTL model it's not an authentics for instance but it's much better than the old ERTLs they used to be back in the 90s. The hood is all flat black inside so it's uh, it's correct and the hinges here even though they are not the original hinges just like the ones we find in the authentics models uh, they're still good. They're not so thick and they're painted flat black so they really look nice. The brake system here I don't know if it's in the correct color probably not but it could be further detailed hood opens and closes correctly and the fake air intakes are well adjusted. This air intake right here is correct as well as windshield wipers which are separate pieces. The trim around the windows is cast in metal so just a little painting would do it. Since this car is made in silver uh, the chrome painting really doesn't show up just like this Buick badge right here we can see the emblem Buick it's written here it's a little hard to see but we can read it uh, if we look a little bit closer I really like those wheels and tires I like those five spoke wheels which were very common in Buicks and very nice very well designed and very well reproduced in this model as well as those tires I like those air intakes here in the front fender and vent windows windows are all correct all very delicate very well made as well as this door lock and door handle which are uh, the door handle itself it's a separate piece and the door lock is cast in metal but uh, they're all correct. The interior is made in this dark red which looks very nice with the silver color. Seat belts buckle here we can see that the seats fold forward just like they're supposed to be in the real cars uh, dashboard which is correct, the automatic transmission with the floor on the floor and steering system that steers along with the, with the front wheels the pedals which are all correct uh, there's no headliner there's the mirror and there are the sun visors the back window with those fins just like we find in the Chevelle and the rear with those very nice and realistic tail lights the GS trim right here with the GS badge and the Buick emblem right here in the trunk lid. This trunk lid is fixed but still pretty much correct. The bumper is good. Uh, it doesn't have any cast markings. Just a reverse lights right here and dual exhaust right here below. GS 400 badge. The trim and the wheel wells. Driver side. We can see the pedals, it's an automatic transmission, so it's just uh, gas pedal and brakes, uh, the parking brake and the parking brake release right at the top of it. Door panels are all correct. The hinges are simple, uh, door thresholds are correct, are all made in chrome just like in a real car. Really looks nice. This mirror in the right proportion and the bottom of the car. This car is a body and chassis, it's no unibody, so all structure is correct. It's all of uh, a big piece of flat uh, black plastic 
it's all cast in plastic but the colors are differentiated by the texture the plastic texture so it really simulates the contrast between a flat black and a stain a satin black uh, we can see uh, the engine in the correct color the training as well they are all painted plastic they are not just uh, plastic in a plastic color uh, the oil filter here which is in the horizontal the front suspension and rear suspension which are not working suspensions actually but they are uh, very well simulated the mufflers in the correct color the tank is made in black steering system which is a working steering system actually along with the steering wheel and the bottom is all correct is all pretty much well done so this is a nice car to have in a muscle car collection and a little comparison we have to make between this car and the 67 Chevelle I've shown before as we can see they are basically the same car almost the same body just uh, the laterals here the panels are different uh, the rear and the front are different but they're basically the same car they have basically the same shape the same top same platform same structure and this will go on um, in 67 68 69 70 and so on we can see the fronts pretty much different I've shown this car before so I'm not gonna go on to that and the rears which are also different but the tops are basically the same this one's got a vinyl top this one doesn't have a vinyl top but if you had a vinyl top it would be about the same thing in this one I'd like to thank you for all views for all likes and comments for all subscriptions to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel to leave your likes in the comments below to click bell for news and stay tuned for the next videos